Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. button what happens everything is blank over here okay then again it's going to give us the error message clear everybody if we are leaving everything blank and then we try to click on the find store button yes it's going to give us the error message plus there is nothing to reset in fact over here but the screen is going to refresh okay so again this is a precondition over here is it clear everybody this much any doubt still here? I'm going very slow, okay, so that you follow it because this is very, very important. All right. Then what next we have? Okay, have we taken care of everything? Okay, there is one last thing. Click on the select state. There is a link here, right? Do you see? Select a state link is there. Okay. So I'll add that also, which is my next step. Then the same precondition will be here also. So click on select state link and if you do this it will allow to select the states the results of list of stores would be displayed okay okay so vanilla has a question already we are done with the zip code blank in tc001.5 okay we are already done with it then why are we repeating over here okay so do you see here vanilla here choose a state is also blank means here only one field is blank i want to you know even test with both the fields as blank Correct. So that is the reason we are writing it here. Okay. This is only one field is left blank over here. But here we are trying to leave both of them as blank. We want to test that scenario also. Okay. See because we want to do a very detailed testing over here. We do not want to miss even a single scenario. Okay. Which a user might be using. Okay. Is it clear everybody? Okay. Okay. Uh, nine. What is number nine, Archana? Okay. Nine through. Where is your nine through? This one. Yes. Okay, so for every test case, we will be having an ID. Okay, Archana, for every test case, you should have the ID. Okay. Yeah. If you create another test case, then you should give TC002. You have to give a new ID for everything. So now we come back to this RTM. So we have prepared the test case. Which test case did we prepare for the store locator? I got to write it. We prepared the TC001 for this. Okay. And I have to write over here what is the name of that. We gave the name as store locator. Okay, let's complete our RTM, right? 
because the purpose of preparing this RTM is for tracking. Only listing the requirements is not done. We should also mention the corresponding test case over here. Okay. The test case tests all the possible positive and negative scenario. Positive means it is successful. Negative means let's say if we leave it as blank or you know if we enter any invalid data it's not going to work. So those are called as negative scenario. Okay. For the functionality. Alright. Is this clear what I did over here? Right. And we also prepared a test data, right? Okay, let's assume that we have prepared a test data. So I give it as TD001. Okay, again the name is store locator over here. Alright. And then we are going to mention here the test data is prepared for zip code field using equivalence class partition and boundary value analysis techniques. Okay. So if I look at this now I am clear. Okay. So for every corresponding requirement I have a test case over here. Right. So I am just going to merge this. Alright, and then, okay, is this clear everybody and is it looking good or not? Yes, now we are done with our complete document. End-to-end -end document which has the RTM test data and also the test case. Okay, fine. There are some questions that are coming up. Let me read it out. How about the invalid zip code? Yes, if you want to write the multiple different types of data like you know special characters and then the numerical data alphabet everything you need not repeat the step again and again. Here in the test data itself you can put the comma or you can put the slash and you can write the different data with which the testing is to be done. Okay Namita. Namita has a question if we want to test the invalid data which is of the different type. So there is no need to prepare the same step again because the step is going to be the same only the different types of data you want to check. You can mention it here only by putting the different commas. Okay. Okay. It displays in the same uh, page Vidya. Yes, next ID after the this one. Okay, so next requirement again the next ID. Okay, so this is our main requirement, main test case and then the test data. If you have again a new requirement you are going to create FR002, again a new test case ID has to be created. Okay. Okay, then so now we are left with the different fields over here. Can you see we have the actual outcome, right? Then we have a result over here and then we have the comments. So why di we did not fill out these details over here? Okay, why we did not fill them? Because these are to be filled out in the next phase. Okay, currently we are into which phase? Okay, let me open that for you. One second, let me find the file.
okay one second everybody where is your document okay here it is okay so i had asked you to you know note down the different phases of the software testing life cycle do you see here the different stages of the software testing life cycle we have the requirement gathering planning and control analysis and design so now we are done with the design process okay the next thing is what the implementation and execution so let's try to understand the implementation and execution what happens here so during the implementation and execution okay and in the implementation phase we are going to collect all our test cases and we will be prioritizing our test cases based on the client requirement okay so based on the client requirement whichever functionality they want to get it released first we are going to prioritize those test cases okay and then we are going to uh, develop and prioritize the test procedures also means we are going to make a group of test cases let's say we have one complete module right then we are going to take all the test cases and we will make it as one test set or a procedure and we will also define in which sequence the test cases are to be executed okay are you clear what is a test procedure it is nothing but we are going to group all the test cases together and we will also create a sequence in which they have to be executed and then test harness is nothing but preparing the testing environment all right we are going to prepare a test environment means you take a system you set up the hardware that is required first then you set up the software install the required operating system install the required testing tools okay install the software if any add in or the library files required install them as well right so you are going to prepare a system or a computer for your testing process okay which we call it as a test environment then so this is what we got to do and also you got to verify the test environment whether it is set up properly or not this is called as the implementation and after the implementation is done we give this document to a tester now let's say it is been prepared by priya now who is the tester here who is going to execute it let's assume that rushali is a tester who is going to execute this document okay and she will take this document she will read the steps one by one and she will enter the details here okay for example she will open the verizon wireless application because this is a first step she will enter this test data she will check whether the store locator functionality is appearing on the top menu or not if it is appearing she will mark it as same and then the result she will mark it as pass then she will go to next step she will click on the store locator then she will check the expected outcome whether the zip code okay and then the choose a state find store button whether all these things are appearing or not okay if yes she will mark it as same as expected then she will mark it as pass okay i can see some questions in the chat box i will be answering them shortly and then next thing she is going to do is she will be entering a valid zip code whichever is mentioned over here only that and she will check whether the data is getting displayed or not whether she is able to see the list of stores or not let's assume that the page is not opening she will write it here the page is not loading or let's say she is going to mention that the required details are not appearing or let's assume that one of the column is missing okay the featured service column is missing she got to mention it here featured services column is missing okay so what is this it becomes fail right she is trying to test the step number 3 but she sees that address is appearing work hours is appearing featured column is not appearing so what she does she says that it is missing and she marks it as fail okay then she again goes to the next step 
she enters the zip code over here checks whether it is giving the error message if yes she will mark it as same as expected she will mark it as pass okay so this is what a tester is supposed to do and this testing will not be done by priya it will be done by a different tester okay so in the testing team we will be assigning the So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.